The painter Richard Berry wrote that in Nordic countries, the landscape painter needs to be a poet. That to portray the natural world around us, it is not sufficient merely to open our eyes to it. The artist needs to know how to shut them too. He needs to be able to dream of what he has seen, to be able to listen to his feelings in order to use this to discern the unity of this ever-changing variety in which the extremities so often touch each other. Berry was writing about the work of Karl Nostrum, but it is easy to apply this idea to a range of artists and artworks, including the pristine, almost supernatural landscapes of Gustav Fjestad, which took form in tapestries, pastel-colored paintings, and wooden furniture. Fjestad's extraordinary sofa from 1910, commissioned by Thiel especially for this room, offers a multi-sensory opportunity to engage with Berry's philosophy. For the sofa embodies not only the visual aspects of a forest landscape, but also its haptic qualities, and perhaps even its smell. And why not taste? With its massive scale, its voluptuous Art Nouveau curves, its unusual canopy structure, the sofa brings the forest indoors. It doesn't just depict a landscape, it is a landscape. Indeed, a small forest must have been felled to provide the material required for such an imposing piece of furniture. But let's not simply open our eyes to this extraordinary artwork. It was designed to be sat on, for our bodies to have contact with it. The motif of tree branches heavy with pine cones carved into the sofa's body extends outwards like arms waiting to enfold and shelter you beckoning you toward its protective embrace. Sit down on the sofa. Sit down and lean back so your head rests against the wood. Abandon to the forest's care. Close your eyes and dream of what you have seen. Dream of all that you know of the forest, the smells and sounds, the visions and sensations of the pine, the ash, the birch, the poplar, the Japanese fir, the maple, the anemone, the moss, the trillium, the fern. Close your eyes and imagine the forest. It is sleeping. A last flicker of sunlight appears in the sky. The sofa holds you. It is your sylvan protector, protecting you like a forest, like a lover. It stands guard over you. You are its treasure. It will guard you all through the June night. Oh, 
Sure. 